Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, we're going to continue our discussion in random board exam problem. So this is problem number 25. So in this problem, it states that a circle of radius 8 centimeters is inscribed in a sector having a central angle of 80 degrees. What is the area of the sector? So we have a bunch of concepts here for circle and we have a sector. So uh, we have the circle. Circle though guys is inscribed. Ibig sabihin ng inscribed by the word in, siya yung nasa loob. Nasa loob ng sector. Where in yung sector, is in a pizza shape uh, figure. So, yung sector galing lang siya guys na sa circle uh, wherein meron tayong central angle. Okay? So, uh, here in this case, draw lang tayo ng line, central line, and then let's draw the radius of that inscribed circle. So, ang kailangan natin mahanap dito is yung area ng sector. Okay? So, let's just let that radius, etong radius na malaki, that is actually the radius of the sector. And itong radius na maliit, this is the radius of that circle, which is 8 centimeters. So recalling guys, no, the area of the sector can actually be found using the proportion of angles, of the central angle with respect to the whole angle, which is 360 degrees. So yung area ng sector can be found, that is just the area of the circle pi r squared times your proportion, which is theta over 360 degrees. So, no other fancy formulas for that now. So, this is the formula for finding the area of the sector given tayo ng central angle, which is in degrees. So, ito guys, this is the proportion. Okay? So, para mahanap natin yung area ng sector, kailangan natin yung radius ng sector. So, how can you do that? How can you get that? Uh, we have this circle. So, from here to here, that's the radius. So, that is just 8. And itong center to this uh, vertex here is unknown. So, let's say that is x. But in this case, you have formed a right triangle. Okay? And this angle here is actually uh, 40 degrees. That is 1 half of 80 degrees. Kasi itong central angle natin is 80. So, kalahate ng 80 is 40. So, this is just 40 degrees here. Okay? So, we can say that the radius or yung malaki, yung radius ng sector is actually equal to 8. Okay, that is 8 plus x. 8 plus x. Where in yung x, we can get that using this right triangle, di ba? So, yung 8 natin is an opposite side. Opposite na itong uh, 40 degrees angle. So, that is sine. Okay? So, sine... 40 degrees is equal to 8, that's opposite, over the hypotenuse x. So, that is the hypotenuse of that right triangle, okay? So, all over x. So, therefore, x is just 8 over sine 40 degrees. Okay, so you can compute that uh, value, but it's actually more accurate if you just uh, input that your r here and derecho tayo dun sa formula, okay? So, we have the area of the sector as, so that is pi r squared. So, yung r natin is 8 plus x, okay? So, 8 plus x, which is 8 over sine 40 degrees. So, don't forget that naka square siya. So, squared times theta, wherein theta is the central angle. In this case, ang theta natin, is 80 degrees. So, don't forget that we're considering the whole sector. So, that is uh, 80 degrees. Okay. So, uh, here we have 80 degrees over 360. So, let's just input that to our calculator. So, let's just input that to your calculator and you can get the area of the sector. So, we have pi. So, shift. And then we have here times 8 plus 8 over sine 40 degrees. And we have squared for natin. And then we have times 
Okay, so let's just delete this. So uh, we can uh, just put here 80 over 360. Okay, 80 over 360. Equals lang natin, you have this one. So this is the area of that sector. So 291.84 square centimeters. So that is the area of the sector. So 291.84. 291.84. Square CM. So that is the final answer for this past board exam problem. So thank you guys for watching this video. I hope that you have learned something from this. So if you encounter this kind of problem in the board examination, so this is its solution. So thank you guys for watching this video and see you on my next video.